Philip Dalton. So last week in Ireland, no, sorry, on Wednesday in Ireland, um, there was like a a protest march for um all, all the students went because they're considering reintroducing college fees. It started to look like they could be about three grand a year. So there was this big march, 25,000 students attended it. And um, basically marched throughout Dublin and then uh, it stopped outside the Dáil, which is like the uh, government buildings. Um, except there was far too many people, they couldn't all fit on the street where the Dáil is. So um, some people were directed around to uh, the Department of Finance. I ended up on the Dáil side. Um, and there was a few police on like horses and stuff but apparently over on um, the Department of Finance side there was, um, it was it was it was fine for a little while but then after maybe about a half an hour um, shit started kicking off there and the riot police arrived as well as a horse or uh, um, police on like horseback um, the media yesterday brought out stories saying that it was like um, extremist left-wing parties that um, that caused this, like uh, Erigi, who are like a Republican socialist group, and also um, the Socialist Workers Party, and they're like anarchists. But um, they said that they they kicked this off by like. Uh, throwing bottles at the at the Department of Finance and stuff, um, and I believed it as well. I I am one of those people who I always I always give out about like the battle in Seattle and stuff and say, man, the police are so wrong. And of course, the media spun it the way that they wanted, and I was real disappointed in myself because I did actually believe the media. Yet again, um, I'd like to. I, I'd like to think that I, I, I wouldn't be influenced by mass media, but apparently I am. Um, but now, thanks to the wonder that is new media, such as YouTube, there's lots of videos coming out suggesting the opposite that it was a genuine peaceful protest. Um, that then the police decided they had to put an end to. Um, I'm gonna put a link in the doobly doo of uh, a video, and if you skip to uh, six minutes and three seconds in, you will see at the end of a street. I think it's like turning around towards Grafton Street, which would be a fairly, you know, fairly big like street in Ireland. Um, it's like it's kind of like where all the the shops are and stuff. Uh, all the clothes shops and stuff, um, kind of like the high street, but um, it, it's kind of like there's about a couple of thousand students and uh, police in riot gear, and they are literally about two foot away from each other, and there's like a straight line of students and a straight line of riot police, and the students are just saying no cutbacks, no fees, no Fianna Fáil TDs. Um, Fianna Fáil is the party in power at the moment. Uh, and then the riot police just start swinging bats. And there was no fucking... Um, there was no Socialist Workers Party and there was no Erigi flags in the sky. Also, I kind of know people in both of those parties and I couldn't see any of them there. And it did see, and like a lot of the people who did have placards were from, like they had placards that said the name of their school that they were coming from. And it does look like the police are just being violent for the sake of violence. And I always thought, like, because um, the name of the police force in Ireland is On Garda Síochána. Um, which means uh, keepers of the peace. It's it's uh, it's Irish for keepers of the peace. Um, that's not peaceful at all. And um, as I said, I'm more disappointed in myself 
that I believed mass media. Um, the video is just incredible, like, and you do see like placards and shit being thrown at um, the police and stuff, but you're always going to get that. But the majority of people there were there to say, "Don't bring in fucking fees. We can't afford them." Um, but it's it's just ridiculous. And um, like, there's a, there's a couple of other there's a couple of other bits where like um, there's like people sitting down outside the Department of Finance, and. Um, there's like loads of police there and they're just like dragging them away. There's this other one. I'll put like two links. I can't remember what what footage is in what video. Um, but there's like two videos. Uh, they're actually a trending topic in the trending topic part in YouTube. As well as some girl dancing or something. Um, fucking internet. But um, yeah. I just like the, there's one bit and it's they're like the guards are literally just like they're swinging their bats and then there's like the riot police with their shields and they're like swinging their bats to get people back and anyone else is sitting on the ground now keep in mind if you're sitting on the ground it's fucking hard to throw shit okay i doubt i could throw this spoon very far if i was sitting on the ground but like or with any kind of force that would actually hurt someone but like the policemen are standing up over these guys with riot shields out, full fucking uniform, and swinging their bats at people. And like, there's a load of footage of like, and like photos of students walking away, covered in blood, like. And um, there's loads of like, there's there was a couple of there was a couple of interviews. There's this uh, website called um, IndieMedia.ie. I'll put a link as well in the doobly and basically it's um it's it's another kind of new media thing but basically it's all um it's like um basically live media like it's it's like a newspaper except it's updated by the general public so basically if you're at something you can write a news story like it, it you do it in a kind of journalism style that you're kind of expected to be unbiased now obviously because people haven't like they don't understand the way media works you're supposed to remain unbiased um it tends to be that um it, it can be slightly biased but um still there's like loads of interviews of people from like different colleges throughout ireland who are saying i'm not a member of a party like Whatever my own opinions are, I'm not actually a member of a party. I just came because I feel that it's wrong that we're being forced into a situation where, realistically, I cannot pay for my education. And uh, those those same people who were there purely to give a peaceful protest and have their voice heard are getting the shit kicked out of them. And, like... The, there was some guy who was uh, there was like I think out of all the protests there was like three people arrested and like one of them was um, released last night sorry no the night before last and um, it just sickens me that my own my own government can do this um, if you're from Ireland and you're a student and you're watching this video and you weren't there if there's another one, go. Because what that was was a police state. That's where, like, it was a case of, oh shit, there's an awful lot of them and they're going to get so much media attention. Get them the fuck out of there. And this is meant to be democracy. So, whatever your opinion are, is on the police, um, whether you like them or hate them, you, you can't sit back and look at the two links that I'm going to show you and say, 
No, actually, they were they were in the right there. That that that's I I agree with what they did there because that's not democracy. That's not the way it works. Um. All right. Well, I'm gonna go. Um. Peace.